Here we start with the short block on the little rolly stand. Finally demount the engine stand yoke. The gland nut, which is a bolt. Install the flywheel seal. Install the flywheel for real for good, this time which I've covered in another video, along with installing the clutch. Blue lock tight on the gland nut. The very final torque of the gland nut may remain for 150,000 miles. Again, clutch installed in another video. Prepping the cylinders and pistons with their shims, getting them ready to install. Doing final checks to the oil pump and getting it, re it ready to install. Loosening the case fasteners around the oil pump socket so that it goes in easier. Prepping the oil pump gaskets. Driving the oil pump body into its bore in the case. Retightening the case around the oil pump. Which, looking back, is the wrong time to do this. I think you should retorque the case after you have torqued down the oil pump cover. Putting sealant on the bases of the cylinders, getting them ready to install. Install cylinder number one right side forward next to the flywheel. Number three cylinder left side front. Note the arrow that points at the flywheel. Rotate the crankshafts so that the other two connecting rods are sticking out so I can attach pistons to them. Wrist pin into position. Install cylinder number two right side rear. Teflon button, the little white thing, to hold the wrist pin in. Number four, left side rear. More tightening the case around the oil pump. I've read that you can pull out the length of old used pushrod tubes and reuse them, and I'm attempting to do that here. Installing the all-important air deflectors below the cylinders. Absolutely do not forget to do this. Since mine don't fit very well, I'm securing them in place with wire. Installing the first cylinder head and its pushrod tubes.
here I'm discovering that I extended the pushrod tubes too much and unevenly, and this is just not going to work. I'm going to have to fall back to using sort of spring-loaded repair-type pushrod tubes. At this point, I know it's probably not very likely that I will drive the car to the new house. Having fallen back to plan B, I am installing the cylinder heads for real, and then I'll install the spring-loaded pushrod tubes underneath them. Here's what the plastic spring pushrod tubes look like when installed. There's a sequence of tightening the cylinder head nuts several times to bring them up to full tension. Hi. Would you like to come out? Hi. Would you like to come out, miss? She's sure purring. Here, let me try it. Mm. Is that okay? Yeah. Install the oil pump gears. Lube up the oil pump body with Vaseline. It'll help it prime when the engine starts the first time. Install the oil pump cover, install its fastening nuts, and get them torqued down. Lube and prep and install the rocker arm assemblies. With the valve train assembled, I can now set the valve lash on all the valves. Installing spark plugs. Setting up and assembling my new oil cooler. The car is a 1972 Super Beetle, so the oil cooler sits on an offset stand because the engine has the doghouse oil cooler shroud. Installing the assembled oil cooler. Here I'm getting all the hoses for the fuel pump set up so I can install it. I think at this point I realized I didn't have the fuel pump I wanted, so I was not, in fact, going to be able to drive the car to the new house, for sure. Install the first piece of engine tin under the accessory pulley. Install the accessory pulley, and install the generator pedestal. By this point, I know for a fact that I'm not going to get the car running before I leave the old house, so I'm just throwing everything together so that it's easier to move the car. Shroud tin on, part of the intake manifold, valve covers, here you can see I've plumbed the oil system for an external oil filter. Here's the outlet in the oil pump cover, and here's the inlet at the main oil galley.
One heater box installed. Muffler ready to go. All the exhaust installed, including both heater boxes and the muffler. Center section of the intake manifold. Fan shroud and generator. Engine on its cart ready to go in the car. Jack in position under the car. Engine bay ready for the engine. Engine install hardware and tools. Engine under the car still on its little cart. Engine installed. The Beetle outside the garage for the very first time in several years ready to be towed to the new house. Please subscribe to see the videos from 2021 as I pick this project back up and actually assemble the engine for real. Work on your own cars if you can, drive safe, and never stop figuring stuff out.